Welcome back to Off Frame Games. My name is Chris, and that noise is bugging the shit out of me. So let's continue on, shall we? I have to get ready for school. Dia hits her alarm and flops face first, in, face first into bed. Dia's morning routine includes lying in bed for 10 minutes thinking about how tired she is. Do it. I only got two hours of sleep. Uh, I don't want to get up. Arr, zombie noises. Arr. Ten minutes pass like this. Once the allotted time is up, Dia unenthusiastically peels herself off the mattress and stands up. After stretching for a few moments, she starts getting ready for sco after school. Getting ready for school. Hmm? My my classmate Akarsha? Aka Akarsha. Akash e Akash Akarsha. Akarsha. Whatever. I'm 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 gonna be told in like two or three episodes that I've been saying it wrong the entire time anyway, so uh, Akarsha. Akarsha missing me. I know enough words to know what yaoi sem means. I don't I know and I don't know enough to be able to pronounce them correctly. But yeah, okay. Hey. Hey, Adia. Hey. Hey. Smiley faces. What? Do you like Dia, you like Pringles, right? Uh, yeah? Yeah, why? Go outside. Yayoi Sam is gone offline. Okay. Dio goes outside. There's a lone Pringle sitting on the ground. Hey, sub homie. This is Akarsha. She's the kind of person who doesn't give pencils back. I know when you become friends with someone just because you... You know when you become friends with someone just because you have to see them so much. Yeah, that's us. My parents are always saying I should be more outgoing like her. Like, that's something I can change. Hey, hey, Dia. Um... You know what's the best weed? It's when I'm weed you. Dia briskly begins walking away without her. Oh, you're no, you're no fun. Hey, 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 have it your way, Burger King. Akarsha is half jogging to keep up with Dia. Hey, hey, Dia. Did you know that your eye has something called immune privilege? It basically means that the outside of your eye prevents your immune system from knowing about the inside of your eye. If you didn't, your immune system would destroy your eye. That um doesn't sound right at all. This I don't believe you. And then why not? Because you lie to me all the time. Noel said not to trust you, no matter what. Just none. Zero trust. Wait, 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 wait. What? When? When? When did she tell you this? When we first met you this year. After you accused her of being a robot with artificially implanted human emotions. Hey, 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 hey. She got annoyed when I pressed a magnet to her, to her head. That means she's a replicant and it was messing with her circuits. That's how it goes. Check and mate. No, no. She was annoyed because you pressed a magnet to her head. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, come on. Come on. I was just trying to make a good first impression. What's a girl to do? 
not just not that e just anything just not that oh poor me no no one feels sorry for you just nobody there's a bunch of adults dressed in yellow at the intersection warning waving signs what is that oh they're uh, they're trying to take away gay marriage gay gay marriage is allowed Dude, it's been legal for like years now. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Tide holding. Uh, promote pr uh, promote marriage. Yes on Prop Eight. Proposition Eight was a. Just, you know what? I don't know. The marriage equals one man and one woman. A smiling woman with a baby strapped to her back brandishes her sign as Dia and Akarsha walk past. It says, "I heart my gay brother." Say yes on eight. Still yes on 8. Oh, wait. Still yes on 8. A couple years back, Proposition 8 was a... California? Legislation that kind of came through. Basically, it said, Hey, gay marriage, legal. Propos eight, Proposition 8 came along and said, Hey, fuck that. We like not gay marriage. And that's pretty much what I got to uh, what kind of cognitive cognitive dissident dissonance? Hey, 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 dear, hey, dear, dear. Would you eat a tiny two-inch person alive for one million dollars? I'm just, I'm just gonna let that hang there. Actually, would I? Would I eat a tiny person for a million dollars? The first answer in my head, it'd be like, no, I would not eat a tiny person. And then the second question in my head is like, but it's a hundred million dollars. I'm not going to eat him. I'm not going to eat a man. No, I no, just no. He'd probably taste horrible. People have so many bones. It'd be like eating a fish. That's the only reason you wouldn't do it. Wait, are you saying you'd eat him if he was, like, a Cheeto? What do you mean? Like, a talking Cheeto with a human intelligence? No, 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 like, he's still a human, dude, but he somehow has a taste and a texture of a Cheeto. Uh, what the heck? That This is getting pretty abstract. Just, I, okay, would I eat a dude that looks... And is, in all technicality, a Cheeto? I'm not going to eat him. I'm, I, no. Dia shakes her head. Wow. And now, now I know you're a true homie. Great. I should have just ate the guy. Why are we even talking about this? We made it to school. I should go to my locker first before going to class. Suddenly, Akarsha... Starts running off. Starts off running. Mm-hmm. Where, where are you going? Ha ha ha. It's pee, pee time. Can can you just not say things like that? Akarsha left. She never takes a day off from being weird. I'm gonna use my luck. Look, it's the geometry, it's a backpack, what the fuck is this? Dia opens up her locker. Well, this is technically both my, both me and Noelle's locker. The school doesn't have enough lockers for everyone, so freshmen share. And they're tiny. I'm always surprised when high school, uh, high schoolers in movies have lockers big enough to fit people inside. What is this? Oh, it's Rosen! This is Rosen for string instruments. I'm actually glad that it's not food. First time Noelle showed it to me, I tried to eat it. I Why would I look in Noelle's lunchbox? I'm going to look in Noelle's lunchbox. Dio opens up a lunchbox and peers inside. There's a steel thermos and a plastic baggie of grapes. <laughs> grapes? Dio shovels half the grapes into her mouth before putting the lunchbox back. 
Dia has her books and binders into her backpack. Okay, all right. I can go to class now. Slam the door. And lock the door. And go to the door. Dia! Dia, help me! Hmm? It's Noelle. What is it? I can't, I can't, I can't, oh, oh, yeah, no, sorry. The voices are starting to meld together. Um, I, I can't open this water bottle. Noelle basically has noodles for arms. Open the water bottle. Dia takes the bottle out of Noelle's hand and twists the plastic sealed cap off. <laughs> Thank you. How are, how are you so weak? It's, it's scary. Uh, it, it's it's a manufacturer's fault for making these seals too strong. Okay, what if you get lost in the desert and find a bottle of water? You would die because you cannot open it. No, no, I won't. I know I won't. I can op. You can open it for me. Okay, okay, that's ex assuming I'm there in the desert with you. Just, I should start charging you a service fee, at twenty five cents. You wouldn't do that to me. <laughs> I'd make $125. Uh, uh, 125. I make $1.25 per week. I can buy cup noodles from the student store. Noelle sneezes violently. Okay, okay. Uh, don't get don't get too close to me. I I probably have the flu. Mm hmm. Did you catch what I had last week? Um, probably. Oh, sorry. This happens a lot because we spend so much time together and, and I eat her food. It doesn't help our immune systems are perpetually weakened from sleep deprivation either. At least you don't have to worry about me being contagious. Are you, are you okay though? Shouldn't you go home? And what, miss school? Yeah, I guess that's out of the question. Look at those eyes, look at those eyes. Even when, no when Noelle had the stomach flu in middle school, her parents made her come just for math and science classes. She was like, barely conscious. I had to carry her around because she couldn't get up from her desk. I think she ended up infecting half the school. So, uh, where's Akarsha? She... It's pee pee time. It's pee pee time. I am not saying that. Uh, okay. Uh, never mind. Uh, why did you ask? So, I secretly uh, sewed a library book security tag into the inside of Akarsha's backpack. So, from now on, every time she leaves the library, it'll set off the alarm and have her backpack searched. That is... wow. Uh, well, whatever. We'll have plenty of chances to see. Let's go. A huge mob of kids is packed outside the classroom. They're all looking at the grid, grid of test scores posted on the wall. It's complete chaos. People are blushing, are pushing and angling their way into the list, uh, to the list with a fervor of believers trying to c touch Justin's hand. Uh, if I if I get a B, my parents are throwing away my GameCube. Yikes, that's sad. That's gotta be an empty threat, right? I wish. They always they already threw away my cell phone. How did the GameCube or how did the cell phone get tossed before the GameCube? No weird buzzing noise outside. Either there's a either something's up with like a car, or there's like a giant ass mosquito, like a robo mosquito outside. Give me. Two seconds. I don't know. Probably a giant mosquito. Couldn't tell what it was. I'm uh, I'm scared to see what I got. I think I failed. An Asian failed? Or actually fail? Like, oh, sorry. are you talking Asian fail? Or actual failure? Uh, Asian failed. Come on, I'm not that dumb.
<laughs> yeah, right. Way, way too scary. This is a list of the top scores across all periods. Noel aced it. Classic. She used to call me on the phone crying every Christmas because our parents got her math workbook instead of what she really wanted. By now, she's unbeatable. It's like her tragic superhero origin story. Except instead of superhero, she's every Asian parent's dream child. No clue how Akarsha managed to get into the, se the second highest score, though. General consensus is that she's cheating, but the teachers have never been able to catch her doing anything. So, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Daya, you're look you've I've located your ID. Here. You got a 91.22%. Ooh. Almost failed. Actually, you could have missed one more and still scraped an A minus. Considering how many I guessed on, I guess that's still cutting it pretty close. That's scary. I really studied as hard as I could, but even my best was wasn't almost wasn't good enough. I wonder if I can really get into Sanford or Berkeley like this. Yep, go ahead, side. As Dia and Noel enter the classroom, something bursts out of the cabinet. Oh, ah! Noel staggers back, staggers backwards into an X marked on the floor with duct tape. A garbage can drops from the ceiling. No, no! <laughs> no one a car should go through some variation of this this every single day. It's their roundabout way of being friends. Or not. Well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite Frenchman, Noel. Oh wait, she's French. No, is it is it Noel? No, Noel. Neol? Neole? Neole, isn't it? Up until I get confirmation, you're gonna be Noel. Oh, please, please, please stop calling me that. <laughs> Why are you speaking English, Noel? What kind of Frenchman are you? Okay, okay, okay. Just because my name is French doesn't mean I'm French. <laughs> A baguette. Uh, see, this is the this is the problem. Whenever Noelle hears something stupid, she just can't let it slide. She's always she always has to correct it. So uh, Karsha just keeps acting dumber and dumber on purpose. So into infinity. Noelle does an impressive warm-like dance to wiggle out of the garbage bin. I can't believe you've done this. What happened to our truce? Uh, truce from yesterday. You agreed to this. Noelle pulls out a sheet of binder paper from her book bag and brandishes it in front of Akarsha's face. Look, look, this is your own signature. Right at the bottom. Suddenly, I can't read. Oh, son of a girl. Noelle's scream sounds very weird and hoarse from her cold. <laughs> What's wrong with your voice today? That was way weaker yell than normal. Uh, I'm ill. I'm losing my voice. Uh, how about I punch you in the throat? It'll displace the mucus. No, it won't. How do you know? Anything is possible. Trust me. I'm here. So by near real carablage. I don't. What? Okay. I'm here. Soba ni iru kara. Sobi ni iru kara. All right. <laughs> you are the absolute last person I would trust. You worthless scammer. And <laughs> leave all your. Okay. I, okay. I. There, okay. Uh, for whatever reason, all these voices seem to be jumbling up my head. My Akarsha is both part Min and then part Noel, and Noel is just. I don't even know what's going on. I'm trying to fix it in my head. It's not working. There's still the little buzzing noise that's keep messing with my head. Um. <laughs> I'll leave all your problems to me. I'll solve them in a heartbeat. Okay, okay. This is unrealistic and accelerating that fast will destroy you even past your bone structure. <gasps> Why are you being so mean? I'm just trying to help you. 
uh, hitting me isn't helping me. <gasps> wow. Someone has anger management problems. You gotta slow down and smell the flowers. Appreciate life's miracles. Like me. Life's greatest miracle. Okay, okay, okay. Absolutely disgusting. I feel nauseated just looking at you. <gasps> I just don't understand. Why is there so much hate in the world? If only we could open our hearts to love, there would be no more wars. Peace begins with a smile. Mother Teresa. Noelle is struggling not to break character by laughing. The bell rings. This, the bell rings. This concludes Noelle's and Akarsha's daily morning scream fest. The rest of the morning is relatively uneventful. Guess what? What? No, 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 no. You gotta guess. You were arrested? What? No. You have a year left to live? What? No, oh, dude, why are you always gotta jump to the worst possible conclusions? It guarantees that I'm either right or pleasantly surprised. You're a real piece of work, you know that? Whatever, I'll just tell you, I'll just tell you. Did you guys hear did you guys hear about the new girl who transferred here? Apparently she's like a delinquent. I heard she knifed someone. She must not she must not be very intelligent. Isn't that exciting? We've never had that type around here. That's true. Everyone here is kind of forced to become a nerd by default. I can't wait to meet her. Wait, for what? Do you want to get stabbed too? Sure, why not? Saves me the trouble of doing it myself. Noelle rolls her eyes and goes back to organizing her, fri her fried rice. She's picking all the sausage bits out. So Dio can eat the leftovers. Don't, don't do that. I like being alive at the same time as you. Oh, that's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. Oh, really? Then I take that back. Wow. Noelle slides her thermos across the table to Dia. Fried rice, yeah. Uh, hey Dia, how many second grade graders do you think you could beat up if they came at you in waves of ten with a fifth grader boss every co coming every five waves? Mm -hmm. How? M okay, this is like a word problem. If there's a whole bunch of second graders, okay, so there's like ten second graders, and then on every fifth wave. So after 50 after 50 second graders there's a fifth grader um so that means 11 on the second wave how I could I could take out I could think I could okay okay do I have a weapon yes no if okay if not are they small children cuz like could I lift a small child and smack another small child with it because technically that's a weapon am I allowed weapons and if not, am I allowed to lift a small child and use him like a weapon to attack another small child? These are all very serious questions that you must answer before I answer my question. Speaking of which, I can probably take out a few dozen. Um, at least a few dozen? Ah, savage. You don't feel bad hitting little kids? Well, they started it. If they don't want to get hit, they shouldn't attack me. Noelle looks a bit left out by this conversation. Just why? Uh, why just Dia? How come you're not asking me? Because I already kn I already know the answer for you. Zero. 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 It's true. You're a weakling. <laughs> How rude. Noelle, let's arm wrestle. I want to show Akarsha. She hasn't seen this. I, I I don't want to. I always lose. No, 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 no. I'll, yeah, I'll let you use both hands this time. Noelle makes a face. Reluctantly, she clasps both of her hands on Dia's, so it's sandwiched between hers. Okay. Three, two, one. Noelle strains against Dia's grip with all of her might. <laughs> Ah, son of a... Ah. 
Dia's arm still hasn't budged an inch. With her free end, Dia casually continues to eat fried rice. D stop that! <laughs> Akarsha, what do you think of, of the weather today? Stop toying with me! <laughs> if I did that, I'd break your wrist. Oh, you know what I mean. Dia pins Neil Noel's arm to the table as gently as possible. Dang, that's like some fox and the hound shit. Normally, the scrawny, scrawny nerd herds. To, uh, okay, normally the squ uh, scrawny nerds herd together like so. Jocks like Dia don't stuff them in the trash cans. How did you two even become friends? Uh, I, I don't remember. You don't remember? You were always there by default. That is not what happened. You had one bad year, so you had a lot of trouble making sense of what everyone was saying. You just play wall ball against against yourself or run laps on the track. No, that that, that sounds about right. Yeah. One day, someone brought the in Krispy Kreme donuts uh, for their birthday. I didn't like donuts, so I. Wait, you don't like donuts? I don't like donuts. They're disgusting. Disagree. Her taste buds are broken. Completely broken. Any, anyways. Oh my God. I, so I gave mine to you, and in exchange, I received your undying and completely unwanted loyalty. You followed me around everywhere. You were a major inconvenience. I don't remember any of this. How do you not remember? You were so extreme. Whenever the teacher tried to separate separate us, you'd start crying. I seriously don't remember any of this. Oh, it's probably because your birthday is in November. You were almost a full year younger than me. A, a year is a big gap when you're five. Mm, true. I was probably like a toddler. I'm sorry. I forgive you. Oh, that's hella kawaii. Oh, no, never, no, just, no, never use that term again. What phrase? Oh, you know what phrase. Excuse me. Mm hmm. Uh, she's talking to me. No, no, go away. Adia looks wildly around for Noel or Kasha to help her, but they've both already gone ahead to the classroom. I remember you were. Yeah. What's she saying? I've never met her in my life. The new clubs are. Yeah. Interesting. Ah. Crap. I really cannot make out the words. I'll just nod every now and then. Yes, yes, yes. One, two, nod. Yes, one, four, three. Got it. Okay. So we're collecting signatures for blank approved. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, I know this lady. She knows me. Proposition eight. Lady in the lady with the uh, fucking sign. The stranger hands Dia, uh, hands Dia a clipboard with a signature sheet on it. Uh. What's this? I will not sign the paper. Bye. Dia walks away in the middle of the conversation. She quickly leaves into the classroom before the girl can stop her. I'm on to your mind games. Okay, so here's the thing. First off, Dia likes Min. This is how it is. Min likes Dia. So... I want them to be happy. Uh, two things could happen within the game, uh, within most games. So this, that girl could have been someone completely random, handing me something completely random, blah 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 blah. Or she could be some, she could be somebody that has been tangentially introduced, but not really introduced. The only thing that's been tangentially introduced is the these people hanging, uh, handing out signs and whatever during propos for the proposition eight, you know no to gay marriage thing. I'll be honest, I wasn't going to sign anything. Anyways, if I don't understand what I'm signing, I'm not going to sign it. Two, I would not sign a Proposition 8 uh, 4 thing. Anyways, 
So, uh, just to completely wash my hands of everything, uh, no. If she wants to come at me later because I was rude, fuck her. But I will not sign something which can hurt me in men's blooming romance. Anyways, uh, that will be it for today. Uh, I, this, that noise is really messing with me. I don't have any way to soundproof my, my apartment just yet, so, yeah. Anyways, thank you for joining, thank you for joining me today. If you enjoy the content, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and of course, hit that subscribe button, and you will get to see all the stuff that I do, which is probably way too much for the amount of time I have to actually sleep. I don't sleep, ever. Later.